Now I'll be honest, I usually play games for the story, and sometimes I just rush to get to the very end just to see what is going to be you know, the outcome, what is the ending of the story. But with God of War Ragnarok, I've never played a game where its theme rings so true that taking your time and being patient can sometimes surprise you in unexpected ways. As Sony Santa Monica has finally released the follow-up title of their reimagining of the God of War series from back in 2018. As we'll follow the path of Kratos, the God of War, and his son Atreus as they'll travel through the nine realms of North mythology and try to restore balance and stop a cataclysmic event known as Ragnarok. Now let's get to the review. Now the level design is very unique compared to the last one because this one feels like it has a great mix of every God of War title. There's open areas like the previous game but they're far grander. And each one has at least a vehicle that you can use to travel and make it far easier to get to point to point. And each one of the nine realms has its own unique art and environmental design that is very consistent throughout. And you'll be reunited with some of the cast from the previous title while meeting some new allies and seeing some of the faces that you heard in Legends and Lore. And the combat has completely been upgraded this time around and it has a far more defined RPG element. It even feels like it has three times the variety of enemy and combat scenarios that you'll have. As the level design has a great balance of throwing little bubbles of boss fights, scenarios and encounters that you'll face. Now it's almost impossible to talk about this game without spoiling anything, but I will say is that it's a great payoff to the 2018 game. While this one speaks of prophecy and following the path, it's incredible how the writing is so unpredictable and that all the characters have a great evolution with them. And the cutscenes become so real as you can't tell if you're watching a movie or not. Now if you're a fan of the previous one, yes, this answers the questions and it has a very satisfying ending. But I don't think you should rush for that ending. You should take your time and just enjoy what the game is offering. Now like the last one, it did have a lot of linear moments. This one has a great mix of the previous titles as you'll have little bursts of action scenarios and combat fights that you'll just go and feel like you're the complete god of war. And there's some insane twists that will throw at you, not just in the fighting and in the story, but just in the incomplete level design that the, what they have. And these are far more than side quests, each one have a great level design and expand the open area of that place and really have some great combat scenarios as well. And I appreciate that you can go to the menu at any time and change your setup and that the checkpoints are very forgiving. Well, it's kind of hard to talk about this game without spoiling anything, so let's get to it. And now to answer the question, should you play? And I say yes. This feels exactly what a sequel should be. It should be an upgrade of what the previous title was. The combat is the best in the series and every scenario requires you to be far more strategical this time around. And the story is epic. While the main campaign can span up to 25 hours on the easier difficulties, I played on Give Me Balance and I even tried a few of the side missions and I ended up having around 36 hours clocked in before I saw the end credits. Now what I will say about the story is that it's an incredible evolution of what the first one had. It seemed like Kratos was just shy to even talk to his son and then once we enter this game he already feels far more confident in just speaking with him yet they still have a lot of reserved moments with each other. But that we get to see them talk it out and resolve these issues is what makes the story and writing extremely special. Now don't worry about rushing to the end because you can still play the side quest at any moment even after the credits roll as there are a few additional missions and boss fights that you can also do as well. And the RPG elements along with the combat add for endless possibilities and while I was a big fan of the 2018 game, this one just added so much more to that one. Like I cannot wait not just to go back and replay this one but the previous game as well just to see the amazing payoffs that this one delivers. I thought I reached the ending 9 times out of 10. Now look Atreus, I have your ear. <laughs> Boy pay attention, I'm trying to teach you a lesson. Now, did you pack the snacks I brought? 
You know I get restless during these long trips. Yes, Father, but you always eat them up. Well, if you weren't chasing prophecy and went and looked for a job, maybe we wouldn't have this situation. Plus, you know I can't have gluten. Remember our last trip? Yo, thank you for clicking the video. It's your boy Skater V. Please check the channel out. I post every Monday and Friday. And um, like I said, it, it was super hard to talk about this game without spoiling anything. So I'm actually gonna add a follow-up video to this, which is gonna be a whole spoiler cast. I'm gonna be just talking, playing, giving my whole thoughts about the whole story. So if you wanna go around, check it out. It's gonna be attached to this video. And please comment down below, did you beat the game? Did you like it? And uh, if you could leave any spoilers, put it in the next video. We don't want to ruin it for everyone because, yo, this is such an awesome game. So many twists and turns. And, oh, no, I can't wait to replay it again, which I will on my Twitch channel. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.